Welcome to Suffolk County Music Services video presentation of the Wicket Celebration Piece Hall of Fame Session 2. In this session, we are going to revisit what we learnt in Session 1, learn how to sing the champion section, learn how to play the ending, and then perform the whole piece. So let's get started, let's get ready to sing and play. Hello again, it's Mr Tabor here and it's time to play your instrument. Check that you have set your instrument up and that it is working correctly. Warm your lips up by buzzing some long sounds on your mouthpiece followed by four beat notes on your instrument using different pitches. Use the notes you need to play, the Hall of Fame part. Look at the music on the screen which is made up of three bars. The first two bars are the rhythm of the section of music which you learned to play last week. The third bar, made up of four short notes called quavers, are the very last bar of the song and need to be played loud and strong. I am going to play each bar separately on one note, and after each count of four I would like you to copy me. I shall use the notes E, F and G for each bar. You can copy me using the same notes or choose your own to practice the rhythms. Wait for each count of four before copying back. Try to follow the music with your eyes as you play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Pause the video to replay this section so that you get a feel for the rhythms by playing them many times. Once you are happy, move on to practice your actual part. You might like to split this into separate bars also. Have fun! Here's a quick reminder of the notes you will need. Take a moment to have a look and pause the video if you need to. Do you remember what we learnt last week? Here's a quick reminder of the first instrumental section. First instrumental section. Listen and watch. One, two, three, four. First instrumental section. Now you can try playing it. One, two, three, four.
Now we're going to learn the second instrumental section. You will notice that it starts in exactly the same way as the first section you have already learnt. It's the same two bar phrase, played four times. All you have to do is add an extra four notes on the end to finish the piece. You might also have spotted that the final note has a symbol underneath it which looks a bit like a sideways letter V. This is called an accent. Try to give this note an extra kick by playing it a bit louder and using your tongue more firmly, like this. Ta 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 ta. So, here it is, the second instrumental section. Listen and watch. One, two, three, four. second instrumental section. Now you can try playing it. One, two, three, four. Before we get to the end of the piece, we have one more singing section to learn. It's time for our performance now. You will hear an introduction of four bars of music. You will hear the same piece of music each time before we play or sing throughout the piece. We play our little two bar phrase four times on our instruments. Then we will sing the verse and the chorus. Then we will sing the champions section. Then we will play our little two bar phrase again four times followed by our four note ending to finish the piece. Are you ready? Let's play and sing.
done everyone. You've done a great job listening to each tutor and you've taken the time to pause and practice along the way. Remember, you can watch any part of this video as many times as you'd like to help you practice the piece at home. So keep up the good work and hope you look forward to more Wicked pieces coming your way soon.